welcome to another Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm Yugi Kwan and today we're going to take a look at the newest League of Legends. Uh, it runs really well on uh, the newest, uh, it's not the newest, but uh, the wine staging 2.18 I believe. I'm using the software called Lutris to run this and um, so yeah, I have a pretty smooth feeling. Um, I had some troubles with the NVIDIA drivers to get it to work. Um, I tried out a different couple ones, but uh, it didn't seem to want to work. So uh, uh, I can show show you um, show you how uh, which one I'm running on. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I think it's running really smoothly. Um, nothing weird about it right now. Um, so yeah. I'm running on the highest, uh, let's see, uh, the video, the highest quality uh, and whatnot, and in a window, of course, to record it. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're gonna go through the installation uh, to show you it's very simple, nothing uh, special about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna exit out of this and we're gonna go ahead and look at that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let it load, it's gonna reboot that, I can perhaps just close it down. Um, so this, for this I'm using the software called Lutris, and uh, you can get it by going to your uh, browser and go into their website, Lutris, and um, just make an account to sync all of your games and um, perhaps sync Steam and uh, whatnot. So I have my account here and uh, just search for uh, League, League of Legends and uh, you will find it there. And in here you're gonna go and add it to your library and just sync it with your program. Um, so yeah, um, you're gonna download it uh, here is uh, how you go ahead and do it. And, uh, I'm using the Ubuntu 17.10 for this and uh, with that you can just click update here and just uh, download the Debian file or uh, a compressed one and install it by yourself. So just download the file, uh, let's see here, uh, excuse me, the 74 bit and let's see if something happens. There we are. And just save the file. And on Ubuntu it's pretty simple, you just go ahead and open up the downloads and uh, uh, check if it's permission and allow execution and just go open with the installer. And click install, I have it already installed so no need, no need. Uh, I'm gonna exit out of this, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the software. Uh, it's pretty s similar to the Play on Linux software, uh, where you have, um, you can uh, configure your Wine prefixes and whatnot. Um, it's really simple on Play on Linux as well. Uh, I'm using the Lutris here, just to test it out a bit. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and search for things you have added to your library. So uh, let's see here, League of Legends. You will find it here then after you have uh, synced your library and uh, uh, you might want to close it down and open it up again when you have done that. Uh, and after that it's pretty simple, you're gonna just go and uh, install. Um, I'm gonna remove it for uh, you to see how I did it, so let's just go ahead and remove. Uh, remove everything, yes. And we're gonna go install. And I'm choosing the uh, DX9 version here. Um, I don't know if the OpenGL works, but uh, the DX9 works for me. And I'm gonna go and click continue there. And uh, in your, it creates a games directory when you install the Lutris. And you can choose other prefixes if you wanna install it somewhere else. But uh, there's where I'm gonna do it. And uh, it's downloading the installer. So just wait it out. And it's creating the prefix of um, Wine, League of Legends. Installing the game data. 
and it's installing the DirectX 9 for you. You can do this all uh, by yourself with just downloading the correct Wine version and installing through um, either Wine Tricks and uh, uh, oh, excuse me, <laughs> and Wine Tricks and just uh, search for your application. And um, let's see here, the DirectX uh, 9. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's perhaps somewhere else, but you can use it by uh, doing that. But we're not gonna bother. So um, after it has uh, downloaded and installed the DirectX, it's, you're gonna pop up the League of Legends installer and just click Next. Agree, Next. And when that's done, uh, the installer has finished and it needs to patch. And uh, make sure you click the uh, launch League of Legends uh, so it doesn't. Uh, you click out of it, <laughs> sort of say. <laughs> so uh, when you just finish that, it will uh, finish up the installment using uh, the Lutris. And it has finished. You can create some shortcuts and whatnot. Uh, and then you're just gonna launch the game. And it will start loading up. Um, here it's just gonna download everything and it will uh, start to patch and uh, check everything. And um, perhaps we can look at uh, can you do that in the meantime? Uh, the wine configuration. Yeah. Uh, so for this, they are using uh, the Windows 2008 R2 version. Uh, for libraries, they have quite the few here. They have made uh, D3, D8, a bulletin, and a lot of them here. So, uh, this will have been uh, pretty annoying to add by yourself. And uh, so, yeah, uh, graphics, nothing s uh, special there. Uh, through staging, they had enable CSMT for better graphics performance. Um, do they have anything else? And yeah, they are using the 2.18 staging for this. Um, so yeah, that's all of them. So yeah, I had no problems running this and I think it runs really, really smoothly. So. Um, I really recommend trying that. And uh, for the uh, drivers, uh, I have a NVIDIA card with which works pretty okay, but not okay as an um, AMD would have done. Um, I believe they have an easier way to run this. I had to try some different uh, drivers to make it work, but. Um, uh, when going back and forward and just going back to original, I found that it started to working again. So perhaps I have had some other issue. But uh, you couldn't try to uh, change to the default one, the XORG server, um, if you have troubles. But it doesn't work quite as well uh, when I have tested it. So I would recommend using the NVIDIA or if you have an AMD, congrats to, to you. <laughs> It works really much better, so uh, yeah. It's finished downloading. Let's see if it's pop up in the installation after this. And there you go. And uh, you're gonna might have to change your region here. And uh, let's see, I'm in uh, English, and I'm not North American. I'm EU Nordic and East and it will update the um, patcher here as well. Uh, so do that before you do anything else. And there you have it, it's uh, starting to patch. This will might take a very long time, uh, about 30 minutes as it says, or maybe longer because it gets stuck on the patching a bit, but just give it time and it probably will work. Uh, if you have troubles, there are uh, some fixes, I believe, but uh, it should have been resolved with uh, all the uh, DLL files added in CF config automatically by the Lutris. 
So yeah, just download it, patch it, and log, uh, and uh, just play it. So I think that's it. Uh, you could do this by yourself, uh, as I said, through the just downloading, install the wine staging, and installing all the other uh, DLL uh, overrides and uh, whatnot. But as you saw, it's quite a lot of them. So I recommend using like Lutris or Play Linux for it. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you see you in the next video. Bye bye.